example of namaste good morning to all respected online viewers long live their majesties long live our leaders and long live our friendship welcome to this online ayurved and yoga workshop from the sea of india thimpu iccs thimpu wanchu culture center yoga teacher i am kv ssn good to hear my true praise to the almighty to see all the best things to their majesties in the whole bhutan so coming to the recitation this recitation belongs to ayurved saying about the Uh, different levels of uh, fasting and and different way of uh, like cleaning techniques of the abdomen it is saying that lankhanam sadanam tiktam deepa nani katurnicha virochanam snehanam vastaya shama marut uh, like in these uh, practices especially i'm i would like to give important two notices on the lankhanam means it's a kind of fasting and as well as virochanam virochanam means it's like like a kind of colloidal cleaning technique so throughout uh, throughout ayurved uh, we can see this uh, practices of balancing between three doshas vata pitta kapha internal wind internal mucus and internal bile so it will be uh, totally manipulated uh, like a uh, uh, well manipulated by the lankhanam lankhanam means it's a different way of a fasting techniques here lankhanam means it's not that not taking food for many days it's a kind of taking the food in uh, that prescribed intervals so uh, so that food will be go to digest properly as well as assimilation uh, the process also will be uh, available in a smooth way and after that again here also mentioned that virachana kriya all the colon cleaning so like uh, according to the yoga according to the ayurved we have to follow some important practices for this kind of uh, techniques Uh, giving proper time between food to food as well as after taking the food give still more time to assimilation for digestion as well as for the cleaning also so the ability or the eligibility uh, for a people uh, it will uh, for especially food regarding it will come first thing is clean the abdomen then after that create hunger through any practices yoga or any other practices then after that add new food these these three are like a kind of row or a pattern first clean the abdomen then after that uh, like creating hunger in a good level then after that create food so if once anyone will follow this three process then diseases or disorders will not be uh, like a, uh, like a, we will not inclined to catch this kind of diseases or disorders as well as anti aging will be available and longevity will be available because our food is our uh, first medicine so if once we will take that medicine in that prescribed way then obviously body will not uh, body, uh, body will not get reset uh, as well as body will not catch disorders okay now coming to the actually protocols for this covid or uh, like even though if we get vaccinated please remember to follow physical distancing and carry your masks and do not touch surfaces as well as don't don't count currency or papers by touching your tongue and hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene very important so using your hand sanitizer is very important wherever you go so try to follow this kind of cleaning methods then coming to respiration so always try to follow this steam inhalation uh, before entering your home it is advised to uh, take this steam inhalation so that accordingly set your tables and set your devices just outside of your door because the viral cells will stay paranasal cavity or para throat cavities inside cavities for at least 2 and 1/2 days to 3 days so uh, by drinking hot water or by taking medicines really it will not kill the, that kind of virus but virus uh, virus will be totally uh, like uh, getting damage because of this hot air only so it it will be available through the steam inhalation and next one is nasal oil applications called anutaila and shadbindu taila these are oils also very important to boost up the immunity as well as to create uh, some what balance in the flum level disorders as well as these two oils may cause for a good region called people may experience that uh, like if, if people have more snoring activity for, for them also these nasals may helpful but according their uses of these two oils and next one is uh like a sleep pattern 6 to 8 hours sleep required but this 6 to 8 hours sleep pattern not really recommend for everyone but if you are more active in your activities or your house affairs or office affairs or if you are living in more stressful life maybe one more hour two hour two more hours required especially in the afternoons before your lunch hour 
and next one is uh, close therapy close powder and honey adding of the milk or adding of the hot water especially in the morning empty stomach also it is advisable to take this uh, preparation to cut the some of the uh, like a, uh, like a flum level disorders around the around your throat level and every day exercise is very important thing is to getting or to generate somewhat uh, uh, internal heat or uh, uh, what we call agility to create agility or to create flexibility this uh, half an hour schedules in the morning half an hour schedules in the evening recommended according to your uh, interest you can choose any kind of practices but you can choose yoga also in the last because yoga will be a good uh, good stretching yoga has a good stretching practices so next one is uh, vitamin a vitamin uh, d and zinc based diets very important in your daily diets please try to equip these kind of diets also to create good immunity and good digestion so do not blindly depend on the carbohydrate which which uh, don't have the good fiber and next one is home kitchen remedies called turmeric uh, honey and jaggery ginger and cumin ilachi cinnamon and uh, like what we call hing and uh, jaljira powder uh, uh, and these are very simple home uh, home remedies uh, along with that please use ginger powders dry ginger powders and uh, what we call garlics also in your food to create uh, further balance inside your digestion system and next one is very simple uh, ingredient called what we call golden milk preparation and kada chai also two health tonics early in the mornings to afternoons you can take kada chai preparation from afternoons to evening you can take golden milk preparation to boost up the immunity uh, also uh, please remember local shilajit and cordyceps having uh, very good uh, like uh, potentials to create immunity as well as to create sleep balance and health balance so according to the doctor's advice you can uh, choose these preparations also also please remember chevan prash also available in the market uh, like according to your uses morning ones and evening ones you can choose uh, uh, along with the milk or along with the water or you can slight uh, you can directly apply uh, eat this uh, 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 chevan prash and in this week as we know that we are seeing some of the important home ayurvedic remedies for the arthritis or amavata it's a kind of impurities in the inside wind or somewhat accumulated uh, wind inside the joints or around the joints uh, but when you already notice this kind of things do not neglect the pain immediately choose a good physician to take advice also you can choose this ayurvedic home remedies also uh, so here in this ayurvedic now practices especially in the pharmacy wise we have uh, good medicines according to the doctor uh, prescription you can use them called gugulu so we have we have many variations in this gugulu called amruta or yogi raja or simhanada gugulu also we have maha rasanadi khada very simple and effective drug and swarna baspa and rajita basma a kind of uh, what we call uh, it's not a really metal but it's a kind of uh, smoke from the uh, gold and smoke from the silver in a processed Ayurvedic way. This is also good to create immunity, especially for the bones health and skeleton systems health. Next one is Amavata Rasa, also very important to create wind balance. In, uh, to create wind balance inside. Next one is Ashwagandha. Day before yesterday, we saw this technique, Ashwagandha, very simple and effective home remedy. And Shatavari, then as well as Dhanvantri oil, as well as next one is Narayani Thail, also very important for external applications, as well as according to other. Uh, uh, other ingredients you can choose inside internal applications also next one is bruhad vata chintamani then next one is vata vidhamsini ras and dasa mula kashaya so these are available uh, medica uh, uh, medicines in ayurved so you can choose how to use these practices to create good wind balance inside so uh, why uh, if you really experience this kind of uh, wind related issues especially bone related issues Try to avoid or lower the salt intake from the food. Please avoid the salt, no problem at all. Uh, like uh, uh, like uh, uh, in one in one kind of theory, salt also can be a acting factor to uh, create or to pull the water or to create to pull the gases inside. So that once you will lower the uh, salt levels or you, once you will avoid the salt levels you can see good results uh, and also gluten interferences please aware of the gluten interferences if you are more prone towards this gluten try to avoid or lower the levels next one is spicy items ha had to be avoided next one is curd and buttermilk also according to your conditions if you avoid it that uh, that will also give good results and coming to jaggery also don't take jaggery and 
Uh, now, next one is all uh, uh, sea products. Please remember to avoid sea products, especially dry fish and dry matters from the seas. Next one is palm oil, and next one is uh, uh, along with this palm oil, sour items. Please don't take their sour items also. And please remember to avoid maize and soya items and also black gram. So don't, uh, don't take any items which are made up of the black gram. So these are some of the uh, restrictions in the food. But today we have Ayurvedic remedies, four remedies, very simple and effective remedies also related to yoga called Ushna Jalapana Chikitsa. Ushna Jalapana Chikitsa. Early in the morning, while you are drinking water, try to drink hot water. Do not add uh, salt or do not add anything inside the water. Even don't add lemons also inside the water. Uh, like you can consume plain hot water, two glasses or three or four according to your limit, according to your experience. So you can choose this simple water therapy. But uh, after drinking water, at least one hour to one and a half hour time, do not eat any food, do not drink any uh, further materials, tea or coffee or anything. So leave your abdomen, leave your body to clean. So la la let your body clean inside with, the, uh, with that available water. That is very simple technique to create balance in between the wind, in between the biles, in between the mucus also. So next one is Aranda Thaila Chikitsa. Aranda Thaila means here castor oil, seeds. You can choose the oil two or three spoons every day in the morning after finishing your food. Again choose uh, 100 ml of water and mix with these two to three spoons of Aranda Thaila or castor oil and drink before your sleep and it will also good to clean the abdomen. So, uh, the, like uh, these two chikitsa, these two practices, one is Ushna Jalapana Chikitsa as well as Aranda Thaila Chikitsa, basically for the cleaning the abdomen. So, next one is uh, food precautions. You can take Madura Amla Lavana. Madura Amla Lavana means sweets or fruits. Uh, as well as next one is uh, limited sour things as well as limited salt items you can take them in the food but in the food please try to avoid katu tikta kashaya katu means spicy diets uh, tikta means bitter diets as well as kashaya means astringent diets so but as a medical applications again please remember you can use this uh, katu tikta kashaya means uh, what we call uh, spicy things and as a bitter things, as a astonishing, astonishing things, you can apply as a medication. So like uh, once in a week or twice in a week, you can choose Karela leaf drops, grinding drops, uh, one or two drops mixing with a 100 ml of hot water. You can choose this kind of drinking to create some wind balance inside. Next one is neem leaf. Weekly, once or weekly, twice, neem leaves, one or two leaves, early in the morning, chew properly. This is also like a, act, act like a medicine. And next one is guduchi or tinospora, the, the kind of stack or leaves extraction available in the market, capsule forms or powder form. You can choose one capsule in the morning or powder form in the morning, mixing with the hot water. So these are the observations in the foods and the medicines. So here, please remember, arthritis, maybe because of heredity, maybe because of overweight, maybe because of other uh, byproducts from the other diseases and uh, disorders, and maybe because of uh, other accidents and anything. So please remember, whatever you have your condition, please don't choose your self-medication. Immediately choose uh, like a good doctor to take advice and just go to the further medical investigations to, uh, to, to take the proper reports. So along with your English medicines, allopathic medicines, you can choose Ayurvedic medicines also. So when we are meeting here tomorrow at the same time, same topic, same place, uh, we will see still more good applications in Ayurveda for the same arthritis. So let's join to the yoga class now. And based on your convenience and based on your confidence, based on your health conditions, every posture in the yoga along with the sun salutations have its own uh, good impact on the body, but choose proper way of doing. So better to take advice from your yoga teacher who, who are having uh, knowledge on the Ayurvedic and the health also. So coming to the sun salutations with the mantra chanting and sloka chanting, when you have your tradition belief to chant all these mantras, you can follow or you can follow only physical practices. 
Okay, take a long, slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Then after that, wide your both the hands. Lift your both the arms up about to the head called Kailasha Mudra. Then very slowly bring them down at your chest called Anahata Pranamasan. Om Hiran Mayena Patrena Satyasya Bihitam Mukham Tatvam Pushan Apavrunu Satya Dharmaya Drushtaye Om Hram Hrim Hrum Hrim Hrom Rahap Mitra Ravi Surya Bhanu Kagapusna Hiranya Ghabha Maricha Aditya Savitra Arkha Bhaskaraya Namaha Stretch your arms forward, lift your both the arms up once completely lift yourself up and from there slightly put a back bend called Ardha Chandra or Ardha Chakrasana then slowly keep the body straight. Then slowly push your body down till the floor when you have lower back pains or health issues, heart issues or blood fluctuations do not do the forward bend. So completely bend the body forward. Then here right leg is your back leg called Aswa Sanchalanasana horse riding posture. And when you have knee issues or pelvic girdle issues or ankle issues, choose proper way of doing these postures also. And back leg straight on the toes and join your forward leg to back leg called Dandasana or Samsulanasana. And bend the body completely down towards the floor, Ashtanga Namaskarasana or Sastanga Namaskarasana or any resting posture. Like a C wave, lift the body up. And keep your body in the Bhujangasana or lifted head cobra posture and against your shoulders keep uh, pull up and lift your chin and stay for a while. And right, back leg straight on the toes and knee up and uh, push your body inside called Parvatasana. Again, right leg is your forward leg called Aswa Sanchalanasana or horse riding posture. And back leg straight on the toes and back leg knee up against the gravity then slowly join your back leg to the forward leg called Father Hastasan. And lift your both the arms and the body at a time up called Hasta Uttanasan. Once completely pull yourself up from there slightly add a back bend called Abdha Chandra or Abdha Chakrasan. Again, keep your body straight, Pranamasan about to the head and very slowly bring your Pranamasan down at your chest level called Anahata Pranamasan and lift your both the arms up and very slowly wide your both the arms then slowly bring them down at your thighs then soon after these practices and fuse again, lock your hands back, keep your toes straight and fuse again straight for your healthy breath. And now coming to next practices, exercises, yoga practices. Today also we have uh, very important but very uh, few exercises. Please remember when you have any knee issues or any health issues, consult a physician and a yoga teacher before starting your practices. Okay, take a long, slow, deep inhalations and exhalations. So first, very simple exercise called Konasan. So keep your body straight in between your uh, both the legs. You can create a small gap or you can keep your both the legs together also so that like left hand on the waist and lift your right arm up coming to a simple konasan then push your body with your left hand with support while bending the body towards the left side and stay for a while try to put exact side bend and stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine and very slowly come back resting and slowly wide your arm and relax from the strain then fuse again relax then soon after that lock your hands back in between your legs create a small gap and keep your body and face and head straight and long deep inhalation exhalation right opposite side same practice and choose proper way of doing so be very convenient while keeping your both the legs in position. Then after that keep your right arm on the right waist to push your body towards your left side while going bend towards your right side. Lift your left hand from the side and once completely pull yourself up. Then from here with your right hand slightly push your body towards your left side to bend the body towards the right side and try to maintain exact side bend and stay now. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, then very slowly come back, resting. Then after that, slowly wind your both the arms and relaxation. Now, long, slow, and a deep inhalation, exhalation, lock your hands back. Once you feel that long stretch of inhalations and exhalations. So using the same Kona Asan technique, we have next exercise called Gopika Asan or somewhat Pasva Kona Asan variation. So choose proper way of doing, this will come under light posture, this will come under medium posture, this will come under advanced posture also. But uh, like it's a depend on how you are doing. Okay, this time keep a long throw, deep inhalation, exhalation. This time keep open your right leg to the left side. Then try to put it on the floor. So when you want more leg stretching, more bending, you can give proper distance also between your two legs. Alright, lift your right hand up. So now we are doing, we are bending towards open leg side. Completely bend your body towards your, uh, towards your open leg. So here hang your remaining arm on the open leg or on the folded leg knee or till the floor. Two seconds, stay now. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, then very slowly come back and relaxing, then wide your arm and resting your two legs, then soon after that just create stretches while in the action of post practices, few seconds, relax your thighs, relax your legs, again long, slow and a deep inhalation and exhalation, the same exercise opposite side, so this practice has basically will uh, keep you in the balancing as well as it will also good to reduce the fat, uh, the thigh level and the abdomen and the hips. Okay, now opposite side, same exercise, choose left leg to wide to the right side and try to put it on your convenient way, short distance or long distance. Alright, towards your open leg side, bending the body and using your remaining arm to reach the floor level behind or before the open leg and stay now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 relaxations enough then slowly come back. While doing this kind of exercises, one can easily got cramps around your thighs. So once you have experienced this kind of cramps, uh, immediately relax the uh, withdraw from the practices, again resume the class. Okay, long, deep and slow inhalations and exhalations. So next one is easiest practices called cat stance or madgari posture. Straight away you can choose Vajrasana by keeping your both the legs full. Try to sit properly on the calf region. When you have knee issues, this kind of Coming posters may not suitable to you, but you can wear knee caps if you have fear about the shocks from the practices. Okay, long, deep, slow inhalations and exhalations. Then here, check proper distance between your knees and the palms. So we have many measurement techniques, but choose any good measurement. But whatever measurement you are taking, you are choosing, be very con confident while doing the exercise. Alright, and now this time lift your head up, bend the trunk and while exhalation completely keep your head move inside and completely lift your abs, especially above back must come go up. Again lift your chin and completely bend your back, lift your chin, stretch your throat called Marjali head up and coming to Marjali head down, completely down and stay now. Again, cat poster, head rising, completely lift, keep your back completely down. This is very simple exercise to get rid of the uh, above back rigidness as well as to create uh, somewhat good balance for the people who have been suffering from the above back pains. Then with exhalation, completely down inside. Alright, soon after that, then very slowly, choose any convenient poster for relaxation. Any convenient poster for relaxation. As a post stretches, you can choose... Uh, head half turns or head full turns also. Please remember pre position of the poster as well as post position of the concerned posture also very important. And long deep inhalation exhalations. Now coming to next next one is Marjari. After Marjari we have Vyagrasan. 
Again, keep proper distance between your both the knees and both the hands and both the hands and legs. All right. This time, choose proper way of opening the left leg back. Then here, along with the head, lift your left leg also. One. Then from there, keep open the leg, head straight, and very slowly bring them inside. Target is to touch your chin with the knee. Again, inhalation, lift your leg, stretch your abdomen, lift your uh, throat, stretch your throat also. And exhalation completely inside, touch your chin with the knee. Again, inhalation, last count, breathe in few seconds, stay here. One, two, three, four, and five. Then while coming back, take it, uh, like avoid the cramps while doing this one. Two, three, four, and five resting but still when you got this cramps immediately like stand on the knees once coming to ustrasan to get uh, stretched properly a few seconds one two three four and five relaxations enough come back and slowly get back to the normal to the vajrasan and legs together and feel that long slow deep inhalations and exhalations then we are doing same Vyagrasana opposite side. Again coming to pre position to the cat stance. After that open your right leg back. And lift your head and lift your leg up. One. Then after that completely bring them down towards your chin. Two. Again slowly open your leg. Lift your head. And two up. And here completely down your leg and down your chin. Two here finish. And third count, inhalation, lift your head and lift your leg. Few seconds, stay here. One, two, three, four and five, come back. Exhalation, completely keep them down inside. Touch your chin with your knee and stay now. One, two, three, four, five and relaxation, so now. Then again, very slowly get back to the normal. So when you have already cramps, you can choose the same ustras and stand on the knees and bending the body back. But here, one long, deep, long inhalations and exhalations. So today we will finish our physical yoga part by movement of the legs coming to same cat stance pre position. Open your left leg as a back leg. Then here, a simple movement, three plus the three rotations. One, then come back. And two, completely lift and come back. So this will toning exercise for the hips and for the lower abs and as well as thighs also. Come back. Now same thing, opposite side. One, then slowly come back. Two, completely lift and come back. Last count, completely lift and then slowly come back. Relaxation, enough. Again, few seconds break for your healthy breath as well as it's a kind of post practice also to relax your hips. Again, long, slow inhalation, exhalation, and last practices. And coming to Chalana, this comes under Chalana or movement in the posture. And open your right leg back and simple movement. One, then slowly come back. Then two, and come back. Last counts, three, completely lift and then slowly come back. One long inhalation. Then same thing, opposite side. One lifts, then slowly come back. Two, completely give the, your effort to lift that leg and come back. Last count, lifts and all right, enough relaxation. And very slowly get back to the normal and relax your hips and relax your thighs. So here, when you require, when you want to do your back bending exercise, choose any back bending exercise also as a post stretches. And now we are doing now pranayam and properly sit in any convenient posture on any convenient surface. Okay, and one long slow and a deep inhalations and exhalations. Coming to pranayam chanting and the sloka. <clears throat> Om Kesavaya Swaha Om Madhavaya Swaha Om Narayanaya Swaha Om 
अद्य सधी तत्फल सिद्ध्यम आसन पूर्वका प्राणायाम दीन करिष्ये ओम सैंद 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 ही then keep your hands down take a long slow deep inhalations and exhalations uh, like uh, in other words this shloka have, have mentioned that to reach spiritual upliftment we have to be care about the physical body and the mind and the uh, like a, a social health so to uh, to receive good positive changes in between these four important uh segments physical health mental health social health and spiritual health so yoga application is a very simple and very effective uh, remedy like it will it will not only create balance in the health it will not only create balance in the mind it will also create good uh, spiritual upliftment when we are using in a right way uh in front of the right teachers <coughs> all right coming to the next exercise today also we have this two exercises called surya bhadana pranayam and coming to bhastrika pranayam surya bhadana itself called as vata doshagnam or kapala sodhanam is saying that kapala sodhanam vata doshagnam krimi dosha hrut punah punah ridam karyam surya bhadana uttamam uh, it, it will rectify the errors wind level errors inside the face and the skull and it is saying that vata doshagna whatever the wind related issues especially for the people who have been suffering from this bone pains or arthritis pains or any other wind related issues for them it's a like it's a kind of medicine and also it's saying that krimi doshak inside abdomen worms uh, worms will be killed because of this simple pranayam that the way properly uh, is very important uh, like uh, next practices are called bhastika pranayam it is again saying that vata pitta slashma haram sharira agni vivardhanam kundali bodakam kshipram pavanam sukadam hitam brahmanaadi mukhe samasta kapadyargala nasanam so here not only wind related errors but also uh, phlegm related errors as well as bile related errors also be rectified because of this simple bhastika pranayam it is also mentioned that शरीर अग्नि विवर्धन मीन मेटाबोलिक एक्टिवेटर और इम्यूनिटी एक्टिवेटर स्पेशली इट विल कीप अस एक्टिव थ्रू आउट द डे दिस काइंड ऑफ वस्त्रिका प्राणायाम एंड द द पीपल हु आर डूइंग फॉर द स्पिरिचुअल एक्सरसाइजेस टू अवेकनिंग द इंटरनल डॉर्मेंट एनर्जीज फॉर देम आल्सो दिस वस्त्रिका इज अ वेरी गुड मेडिसिन ओके कमिंग टू द प्रैक्टिसेस प्रैक्टिसेस आर वेरी सिंपल ओपन योर राइट हैंड लॉस टू फिंगर्स एंड राइट हैंड थंब टू क्लोज एंड ओपन द नास्टल्स so like put your arm in front of the face so that your right nostril will receive right thumb left nostril will receive uh, last two fingers of the right hand so close your right no uh, left nostril inhalation with the right nostril and we are doing surya bhadana then very slowly breathe out with the left nostril again right nostril inhalation breathe in and slowly completely left nostril breathe out inhalation with the right nostril again and exhalation with the left nostril and fourth count inhalation with the right nostril and exhalation with the left nostril last exercise inhalation with the right nostril and do it very slowly and very very uh, relax then opposite side nostril breathe out right keep your hand down one long pause inhalation and exhalation so we are now we are practicing वस्त्रिका प्रैक्टिस इट्स ए वॉलेंटरी शार्प इनहेलेशन स्लो एक्सलेशन कंप्लीटली ऑपोजिट सेट प्रोसेस ऑफ कपाल भाती कीप यूर पोजिशन स्ट्राइट टू कीप यूर पोजिशन स्ट्राइट यू कैन चूज होल्डिंग द नीज ऑल्सो टू कीप यूर पोजिशन स्ट्राइट और इफ यू वॉन्ट कीप यूर हैंड इन चिन मुद्रा कीपिंग यूर इंडेक्स फिंगर टू थम क्लोजिंग फॉर मोर अवेयरनेस यू कैन डू दैट ऑल्सो बट कीप यूर बॉडी स्ट्राइट कमिंग टू वस्त्रिका प्रैक्टिस एंड वन Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, last count, ten, then one long deep inhalation, exhalation. So throughout the yoga practices or especially in the pranayama practices, you can keep your awareness, you can concentrate on your eyebrow center or you can concentrate on the breath to keep your mind uh, like a, a active mode. And now second spell starting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last counts, ten, then again long, slow, deep inhalations and exhalations. And coming to third last spell, but please remember when you have ear issues or any head related issues or any throwing sensations or any other sickness inside the body, but please remember to choose slow pace of doing or avoid the practices. Keep your body straight. Third last spell starting one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last counts, ten. Alright, long, slow, deep pass, inhalation and exhalation. Then soon after these practices, if you know well about the dharana practices or if you know about concentration practices in the Trataka patterns, you can choose the practices. And once you will finish your concentration practices or dharana exercises, choose some more time to uh, take relaxation through yoga nidra abhyasa or through power nap. And still, uh, like depend on the uh, the practices what you are doing, depend on the intensity what you are applying their mudra and bandha or pranayama or practices. Depend on the time. Uh, like uh, choose 15 minutes time to take bath and further 5 minutes time to take breakfast. Afternoon before your lunch hour, try to see all the possibilities to have your power nap or do yoga nidra abhyas to regenerate the body or to concentrate your mind better towards the further work. So basically it will improve the quality from you or uh, productivity from you. And next one is in the evening practices. So once you will be totally free from your all activities before your dinner time, choose at least 15 minutes time to half an hour time to do your self yoga class. Uh, including back bending exercises, including inverted postures and including uh, breathing and breathe outs also. Uh, tomorrow, when we are meeting here at the same place, for the same region, we will see still more good applications in the Ayurveda for arthritis and good exercises in yoga also. Take care of yourself, stay away from the bad habits and do yoga also. Thanking you all.